So in this video here, I'm going to talk about how I stay productive throughout the days and weeks. So we're basically just going to see what different tools that I'm using. I'm going to talk about how I stay productive and also motivated to do all of my work. So both have my YouTube, I have my full-time position, I have a bunch of different courses that we're going to take a look at, websites, different freelance work, and all of those different things. So I really need some tools that can help me stay productive and also stay as efficient as possible and i use a bunch of different tools for that but i also like to explore new things try out new things to see if that can increase my productivity and in this video we're specifically going to focus on a new tool which is the meta quest free which is the vr headset that we're going to test out just to see if i can like zone in and actually like get more motivated and also stay more productive in an isolated environment so i can basically just stay in there but also stay productive um, if I'm in planes, transport, and so on, if I can use it in that way. So I like to explore new ways and also new tools to increase my productivity and also just to get breaks and stay motivated. I also go for a lot of walks and go to different cafes just to do some work here and there. Basically just to reset my brain so I'm not just in the same environment all the time. And that is how I stay motivated and also productive throughout the days and weeks. So most of the work that I'm doing, either if it's my full-time position, just when I'm doing work, or if I'm preparing YouTube videos, different courses, communicating with my team and so on, I can do all of that from my MacBook. So I don't really have to be at a specific place. I don't have an office that I go into. So I like to explore different places, also just to reset my brain and just be in different environments because that is increasing my productivity, but also my motivation to explore new things. So that is one of the most effective and most productive ways of like how we can stay productive instead of just sitting at home in my own office, in my own chair for like 10, 12, 14 hours every single day, then I'll just burn out over time. So this is a really good tool that I'm using and I really like that just to go out, get some new insights, explore different things. It could also be traveling. So I also like to do a lot of traveling and some of my best ideas has had like just come from going outside, go for walks and then just think about life and new ideas that I can come up with. So one of the best ways to reset my brain and recharge my batteries is to get outside. So I really like to go for some short walks throughout the day. I take my earpods in, I can either listen to a podcast, just think about new ideas, but I could also take meetings while I'm walking. And by doing that, I don't really feel that I'm working. I get a break from work, I get outside, I get some fresh air, but I also change my environment. So I don't feel like I'm working, but I'm still being productive, either having me meetings or just listening to podcasts, thinking about new ideas and those things. So for this video, we're going to talk about this specific tool that I just recently bought. Basically just an idea that I got of like, how can I stay more productive? How can I zone more in so I don't get distracted by the outside world, getting notifications on my phone, emails popping up all the time. So how can I try to like isolate myself? probably just a couple of hours a day or maybe even just a couple of hours per week will increase my productivity a lot. So I recently just bought these MetaQuest free VR headset from Meta. They look pretty nice. I got some ideas from YouTube on how you can actually like just have your laptop. Then you can have multiple screens within your VR environment. And then the thought just came to my mind that, okay, if I buy this headset here, would I actually like be able to wear this headset for the, let's just say one hour every day and then just zone in can I then be more productive when I'm in there instead of just flickering back and forth between all the different kind of like tabs, programming, coding, answering emails and so on. So let's take a look at the meta quest here throughout this video and see like how I can use it, how it looks like and my ideas behind that. So to start with, let's just jump inside the VR headset. I'm going to show you this Horizon Workrooms from Meta, which is basically just a virtual office environment. You can have your computer connected to multiple monitors. You can have this path through view of your keyboard and mouse, but it also does a really good job at hand tracking. My whole setup here, you can change the different office environments. Right now, I'm just looking around in the environment. So it actually looks pretty good. The resolution of the VR headset is also very good. So right now I'm just scrolling through my website here. I've upgraded the visualizations. I've made a lot of changes to my website and also specifically my courses. So all my courses, all the visualizations and so on has been upgraded. So now it looks significantly better, but I've also experienced with some new things here. As you can see, we have this sign up button for newsletters and also just to see when new courses are coming out. So we have this cool 3D visualization from Vismet Forms. So this is actually like something new that just recently came out. So let's jump into Vismet Forms here and let's see how you can set it up. So they have a lot of different templates. You can use it for lead magnets and also newsletter signups. You can go in and edit directly. You can specialize it. You can customize it to your own personal brand. And this is significantly cooler compared to 
all of the different like sign up like email sign ups that you have ever seen you can also customize and create your own characters so that is also a really cool feature so by using these 3D animated sign up forms from Visma, you can actually like convert 100 to 200% more leads from organic traffic. And you can also get 2x more form submissions. And that leads to an increased lead conversion rate up to 40%. So definitely go in and check it out. Head to Visma.com. So these are some of the cool things that I have integrated into my website, basically just to increase my engagement. This is the often environment that you can have these work rooms from Meta. So it's basically just a virtual work environment. You can schedule meetings, you can sit on like a row, you can sit in different conference rooms, you can have projectors where you can present different presentations and so on, where you can customize your own office. So right now you can also have this pass through view with the MetaQuest 3. So you can basically have the cameras, you can see what is going on in your environment. You can connect to your computer and you can have multiple different displays. So this is the workrooms. You can also have some other different apps, like there's tons of apps in there to increase your productivity. So here you can see, we can go into different offense environments. You can create your own settings so you can be outside in nature. So you can do a lot of cool things in here. And this was actually like what I thought about when I was about to buy this headset. So the idea behind it, as I mentioned, is to act like just sewn in get out of the real world, basically just to sit in there, have the headset on. I can't be distracted from everywhere. I don't get notifications on my phone, computer, mail, and so on. I can just zone in, do the work for an hour there. I can't really wear it for like more than one hour or else I'll just get like seasick or like motion sick. So you definitely need breaks if you're using this VR headset. So this headset here actually like provides really good value compared to the price point. So you have a ton of things. You can even play games in there. You can watch YouTube. Netflix. So it acts like has a pretty good package, which is relatively cheap compared to all the other things out there on the market. And then I'll basically just test it out for some time. I'm also traveling a lot back and forth between Denmark and Dubai and other places around the world. So I'll try to use it in the plane as well. And then we can probably create a video around that. So as you mentioned earlier, I really like all the gear that I have, testing out different keyboards, having my monitor set up. I've tested multiple different monitors just to see what do I like the most? What setup am I most comfortable in? And how can I increase my productivity? If you're just talking about like increasing your productivity in, in an hour or two every single day, but depending on your setup, getting out to different places and so on, like that is going to have a significantly impact over time, especially if you're working 12, 14 hours every single day, those will not be productive. You can stay productive for 10 hours every single day. So everything that can help with that is a significant factor. I do have a video here on my channel going over all my gear, both my computers, my keyboards, and all those different things, and the thoughts behind it, also the monitor that I have, so both in Dubai, but also in Denmark. I really do like to also just read some books, read some research papers, just reset the brain by reading. So while I'm doing that, I'm both relaxing, but I still feel that I'm productive in some way because I'm reading research papers, so I gain more knowledge about specific areas, but also just stay up to date with newer technologies. I get breaks, but I still feel that I'm productive, doing some work, it's like putting in some work without doing too much. So the most important thing for me to stay productive as an AI engineer is basically just to change my environment throughout the day. If you're working 10, 12, 14 hours every single day, you need to change your environment at least in my personal experience, and then also take short breaks where I go outside, go for short walks. But it could also be like 15 minute breaks where I'm reading some research papers, scrolling LinkedIn for ideas and so on. And then also testing out new tools to see if I can increase my productivity. That could either be like different gadgets as the VR headset that I showed you guys throughout this video. So all of those things basically just adds up so I can stay productive throughout the days, but also throughout all the weeks when I'm working on all these different things in parallel.